Dear learners, how are you? I hope you are having a great time with your preparation because this is peak time, uh, February, March, April. Uh, this is talk exam time. So I believe you are very busy with your talk exam preparation. However, I'm here again for your help. So this tutorial is going to, work, going to be our first tutorial on tips and tricks series. In this tutorial, I am going to I'm going to discuss about numbers. So numbers can be divided basically in two categories, real number and complex number. So complex numbers are not important for TOLC exam. Usually they do not appear in TOLC exam, but a real number is important. For TOLC E, F, I, you should study this. This is very important. So uh, we will discuss different kind of, or uh, different types of real numbers, their definitions and some practice problems in these tutorials. So first of all, I like to draw an ellipse I hope you know what is ellipse you studied in geometry so I drawn a large ellipse as large as possible on my screen first of all I want to divide this ellipse into half exactly equal okay oh this is not looking good so how about this now okay perfect so this ellipse the whole ellipse represents a real number okay a real number a real number can be divided among two different kind of numbers rational numbers and irrational numbers rational numbers are represented by q Irrational uh, numbers are represented by Q prime. So what is a rational numbers? Rational numbers are any numbers that can be expressed as the quotient or fraction P by Q of two integers where P is the num numerator. I'm writing here P by Q. Any numbers that can be expressed by P by Q where P of course is an integers and Q not equal to zero. this includes i mean like rational numbers includes all kind of fractions both positive and negative integers since any integers z are rational numbers then a negative fraction minus 4 by 5 it's uh, yeah a negative fraction also irrational uh, rational numbers then let's say 0 0.75 this is called a terminating terminating decimal that means after decimal points if we have limited or finite numbers then it is called terminating decimals all terminating decimals or finite decimal numbers are rational numbers if some numbers has infinite or repeating decimals like after decimal points it keep going keep going till the infinity this kind of numbers can be written as 0 0.3 a bar or some books they write like this 3 and a point above sometimes if some numbers keep repeating like this 0 0.303 303 303 like that this kind of number can be written 303 bar above all three numbers or 0 0.303 a point just above the three and here okay that means this is the range with keep repeating 
So this kind of number can be expressed by p by q, like 1 by 3. It can be expressed. So if, uh, uh, these repeating decimals are rational numbers. So in, con in calculation, we can write, I'm uh, clearing it for making a space for my writing. So in, co in calculation, we can write negative infinity to, let's say, negative 2, negative 1, or maybe we do not have mass space, so we'll just skip. Let's say here negative 2, 0, positive 2, plus infinity. And rational number also includes fractional number. It's a negative fraction, also positive fractions, also some repeating fractions, 1 by 3, like 0 0.3 point. So these all numbers are rational numbers. So rational numbers, of course, can be again divided among different categories like positive numbers negative numbers let's see how many way we can do it so to de to define i like to draw again ellipse inside this rational number set so let's call it let's call these numbers uh, i mean this ellipse as integers or prime numbers not prime sorry so integers which are represented by z so what is integers integers means from negative infinity to positive infinity all numbers are rational are integers if there are not fractional numbers okay so fractional numbers can be integers without fractional numbers all negative and positive numbers are integers and if we sub sub uh, if we divide these integers again then we can write let's write another ellipse so this ellipse let's say it whole number whole number means 0 to positive infinity so whole number exclude negative numbers and whole numbers are represented by n naught then let's draw another ellipse inside the whole numbers and this ellipse represents natural number which is represented by n and natural number means only i mean excluding zero all numbers are natural numbers okay so we'll make a relationship between these numbers uh, that relationship will be helpful to remember but to make relationship let's have an idea about set I believe you know about set. What is set actually? We know uh, we can call A is a set of some numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the numbers maybe. So sets are uh, denoted by curly brasses. B is another set. We can write 3, 4, 5. Right? What we can see from here the elements of B also elements of A. So in this certain condition, certain relationship, we can write B is subset of A. That means values or elements of B also included or can be found in value of or elements of A. So B subset A. Uh, means that but we can say a subset b we cannot say it so 
in that case we can write this way because all elements cannot be found in b there are some but not all therefore we can't write it however my purpose uh, my purpose wasn't uh, tell you about sets but make a relationship between them so how we can do that what you can see all natural numbers all natural numbers are subset of uh, whole numbers right then all whole numbers are subset of integers z and all integers are subset of rational number q so this is the relationship it's important you should remember we can add an on more like on all rational number q also subset of real number r so this relationship is very helpful to uh, remember uh, the definition of different kind of numbers now let's talk about what is irrational numbers it's very simple irrational numbers are the uh, opposite of rational numbers that means uh, irrational numbers are the numbers which cannot we can't we can't arrange uh, the way we did for rational like p by q we cannot some numbers like a square root, root of 2 this is a, a radical number uh, uh, perfect no it is not a perfect square okay uh, so this kind of number are irrational numbers this number we can't write this way p by q it's not possible because this root to such a number which is on point uh, it's actually repeating not repeating but until infinity after decimal it, it keep going so this kind of numbers can be represents as p by q let's compare with a square root of 4 this is not irrational numbers because this is a perfect square we know a square root of 4 equal to 2 therefore this is irrational numbers rather than irrational numbers similarly if we think cubic root of 2 this is also irrational numbers cubic root of 3 also irrational numbers cubic root of 27 so this is not irrational numbers because cubic root of 27 we can write this way 3 3 has a power of 3 so this is a perfect cube okay this number 27 is perfect cube therefore this is not irrational numbers the value of this or this is 3 so this is rational numbers not irrational numbers uh, here 27 it's not irrational it's also not irrationals rather than rational numbers some numbers like pi pi also irrational numbers because pi we know the value 3.14 one five nine it's keep uh, these numbers keep continues until infinity okay we don't know how many numbers are there so these numbers cannot be represents p by q any numbers manipulated by pi like pi square plus two or pi square uh, not pi square but we can write pi by two or pi plus 5 whatever you write all numbers are irrational numbers another numbers that is called that is called Euler's numbers an important constant in mathematics uh, these also uh, irrational numbers it can be represent p by q okay so any numbers like e square plus 2 or e by 2 hmm, what how uh, like any numbers that's manipulated by e is irrational numbers so these were the basic concepts now let's have some problem so this is our first problem 
which of the following numbers is an irrational number so first option a we can see a square root of 4 and a square root of 9 we can write this way right so it becomes 2 by 3 so it's of course a rational number this is terminating decimal number of course it's a rational number pi by 4 irrational numbers 2 by 3 rational numbers this is limited decimal numbers or finite decimal numbers it's also rational numbers here the explanation you can take a look which of the following options represent a real number okay so these options means a square root of negative 9 so a square root of something negative always a complex number not real okay so this is not real number in this case cubic root of negative 9 so remember if nth root value of n like nth root and this n is odd number so if there is negative still we can find some value so this is a real number remember okay so this is our correct option in this case sixth root of negative 9 again it's an even number so it's complex Similarly, here 4 also even number is also complex. Okay, dear learners, I have some homework for you. You can try at home. You have to find out types of numbers like either rational or irrational. So if this numbers log base 10 2 is rational, if you think, then write it rational. If it is irrational, write it irrational. Log e base 10 then log 10 base 100 e square uh, cubic root 2 power 12 uh, fifth root 2 power 15 fifth root 3 power 19 so all are uh, homework for you if you can uh, find the answer please try i can add some more let's say number nine uh, we can write this way ln 10 tell me whether it's rational or irrational then number 10 we can write another number like 7 2 power uh, we can write 21 okay i think this 10 problems is enough for understanding okay we i can modify like this way here 10 cube tell me okay tell me whether it's rational or irrational so that was my today's tutorial i hope you understood all and if you have any doubt uh, any questions please write me uh, I think this will be helpful for your exams. So uh, have a nice time and if you still didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe and share with your friends. Also, please join my telegram channel and in follow my Instagram account where sometimes I post. I have planned to post there uh, different tips so you can follow there. So have a good time. See you my next tutorials.